on my bike ride this morning and I was just thinking that I really wanted to do a mukbang for you guys today but I was also vlogging and then I was like well what am I gonna do so I figured that I was going to try doing one of these um, like cook with me videos so instead of doing the full-on mukbang I'm just gonna show you guys how I cook this recipe and then not eat it in front of you basically <laughs> So I just got back from my bike ride and I was like, I really, really want pasta right now. And girl, it is like nine o'clock in the morning, but you know what? When you're vegan, you can eat pasta whenever you want. When you're vegan, you can do whatever you want, okay? So today, I have my induction cooked up. I've never actually used this thing, so bear with me. Um, but we're gonna cook one pot pasta. So the first thing that we're gonna need is some pasta. I like to use this super green pasta by Ancient Harvest. So I have this in a bunch of different flavors. I have, not flavors, but molds or styles. So I have penne, I have rotel, I have the elbows, I have a bunch of other ones. I really like this stuff though because obviously it's gluten free and you can eat a whole box by yourself and it's not like that big of a deal. It's like 800 calories, right? Honestly, I couldn't, with all the vegetables and stuff that I add into this, like I can't eat a whole box by myself, but it's like a meal and a half, you know. Depends how much you cycle that day, right? So we're gonna throw this into our pot. And then the next thing that we're gonna put in here is just a can of tomato paste. A lot of Italians commented on my last one pot pasta recipe video and they were like, this is the worst video ever because obviously like Italians don't dump tomato sauce onto dry pasta and cook it like it's just not traditional so if you're Italian I'm sorry this is just how you make lazy vegan one pot pasta so next I have a can of diced tomatoes I just realized that my camera was like totally out of focus so next I have a can of diced tomatoes these ones just have the basil garlic oregano in them but I always add more, so yeah. we're going to dump that in there. So what I like to add to mine, you can totally just screw around with obviously different herbs and flavors, but I like fennel seeds because it gives you like a nice spicy flavor and I like, I just love the way that they taste. So I add about, I don't know, a tablespoon of those in there. Then I have red chili pepper, garlic and onion powder and I mean you could cut up onions and garlic and saute it I'm just too lazy for that right now so I'm not gonna do that but you could totally do that I just like things as quick and as easy as possible so I just kind of sprinkle a little bit of that in there and I mean you can make this whole recipe salt free so you could get um, salt free tomato sauce like these tomatoes I guess like the whole can has a thousand milligrams but this whole recipe would basically have a thousand milligrams of salt then I am just sucking at life right now so next before we start cooking this we're gonna add in two cups of water and just stir it around a little bit And then we're just going to turn this up to a boil. Alright, so we're just going to cover it, wait till it comes to a boil, and then turn it down to simmer. So typically when I make this, I usually put about half a bag of frozen vegetables in it when it's done cooking. but. I only have a little bit left and I really like to have a lot of vegetables in this so I'm just going to chop up a bunch of veggies so I have mushrooms I got some broccoli and then I have one of these Asian vegetable stir fries from Trader Joe's like this thing is legitimately already boiling it's been a minute. Look at that. It's boiling. 
So I'm just gonna stir it around a little bit more. And then we'll just cover it and let it cook for five minutes. And then we're gonna add in these veggies. So if you guys came from my blog today, you'll know that I am trying to get to the top of this mountain that's here in Tucson. And that I'm really not that fit. And I just wanted to vlog it because it's like, okay, maybe I have lost, you know, 55 pounds, right? But that doesn't mean that I'm like super healthy and super fit, like in the best shape of my life. And I really want to be in the best shape of my life. Like I want to look so good. I want to be so healthy and be able to just pound it up like hills and be able to keep up with Derek and just be really, really, really fit. And I mean, I, when I first went vegan, I, I got a mountain bike, so I would bike a little bit, but I wasn't like really into it um, or anything like that. About a year later, before I went to the Thai Fruit Fest, I got my first road bike, which I'm gonna do a whole video on the mistakes that I made buying my first road bike because I made so many mistakes when I bought that bike. Like, it's too big for me. It didn't have the right gearing to even put a power meter on it. Like, I bought it online and just went and picked it up. Like, it was not, I made a lot of mistakes. But I obviously like look back, you know, to my journey thus far. And I wish that I would have gotten really serious about cycling a long time ago. Like, I wish that I would have just listened to Dureen Rider and Freely and just really killed it on, on the bike. Because I'd, I would be where I want to be right now, you know? But I didn't. So it's like, I can't go back in time. And it was easy for me to lose the weight that I've lost. Like, and I did cycle for a good amount of that, but nothing like what I'm doing now. I would just cycle to Sprouts and I would go to Trader Joe's and get my groceries and all that kind of stuff, but not to the extent of what I'm doing now. Like, I, the first time that we came here, I knew that there was, that Mount Lemon was here. So Mount Lemon is like a huge mountain that's here. And I, I wanted to get up it. I'm like, I'm gonna get up that mountain. Like, I really wanna get up it, whatever. And the first time that I went to the mountain, I couldn't even get to the mountain. I couldn't even get there, right? And now I can go four miles up it, but I couldn't even get to the mountain, which is like so funny to me because it was so hard for me. And it's so crazy how quickly our fitness progresses. Like, in the last six months, basically, that we've lived in Tucson, my fitness has gone from, like, zero to... I would say I'm at a decent, you know, a decent level considering how much cycling I've done. But <laughs> I really wish that I would have just started cycling, like, crazy off the bat, but can't go back in time. So now I really just wanted to show you guys like my progress and somebody was like, can you take before and after pictures? I'm like, okay, I will. But I don't really look any different from when Derek first took the first picture of me. Um, I'll put it up on the screen. But when he first took that first picture of me when we got here, because I was like, oh, I'm gonna be cycling everywhere. Like we don't have a car anymore and yada, 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 which I do cycle a decent amount, like a hundred kilometers a week, but I mean, it's just to the store, so it's not like up a mountain, which in time will get you fit, but it's not going to get you anywhere really in six months, you know? So it really is just like time and consistency. There are some vegan YouTube girls that I really, really look up to that are just badasses on the bike. Like obviously Freely is a badass on the bike, but there's also Nourished by Nicole. She's from Adelaide, Australia. She is like cycles so much. There's Happy Healthy 96. I think she's in Adelaide right now. She's she probably cycles the most out of anyone, right? Like holy shit. She'll <laughs> she'll cycle like 500 kilometers in a week. Then there's Mango Mama. She cycles so much. I don't even know. There's Mango Margo, which if you guys are into cycling, I'll link all their um YouTube's below. I'm gonna put these veggies in here now. But like, I just wanna be a badass on the bike. Like, 
I just want to be really, really, really fit, you know? So I'm just going to stir this into here. It's crazy how this thing works because it works on a magnet. So you have to have certain pans to get this cooktop to work, which I think it's going to take me like a little bit of getting used to. But you have to have a certain, certain kind of, they have to have a magnet on the bottom so they're like induction cooktop pans. So I'm just going to put some of these veggies in there too, which I just had extra mushrooms and broccoli. Um, so I just put extra in there. Derek doesn't like mushrooms, but he's not going to eat this, so whatever. I just like a lot of veggies. If you guys have noticed in my videos, I eat so many greens and veggies and it's funny because like, I don't think of food anymore as like, oh, you know, that's going to make me fat and like that's going to make me skinny. It's like, how many nutrients can I get from my food? <laughs> And I think the more that you eat veggies, the more that you just like fall in love with them. So we'll just let that cook for probably another couple minutes. But yeah, like I just really, really, really am so excited to get to the top of Mount Lemon. And it's funny because people always want to see like, you know, the before and the after picture, right? But I've always like been interested in someone's journey. So like I would want to see how someone went from 188 pounds to like 115 pounds and being super super fit, you know? Like the before and the after doesn't really matter to me. It's like the struggle, the daily struggle and what you do every day that you have to keep doing and be consistent to get to where you want to go, you know? So that is like why I started my YouTube channel is because I wanted to document my journey on a vegan diet. And I also wanted to keep myself accountable you know which vlogging my cycling experience is definitely going to hold me accountable this I'm just so not used to this thing like everything is cooking so fast but yeah in our tiny house we're just going to have an induction cooktop and then we're also gonna have um, a toaster oven our Vitamix we're gonna have the instant pot and that's basically all that we're gonna have in our tiny house to cook with so might as well get used to using it now. So funny because when I first um, tried like corn pasta or quinoa pasta or even brown rice pasta, I, I hated it. I mean, still, it took me a really long time to actually like this stuff. But I think if you cook it properly, which it has to be cooked like a little bit longer and you're never going to get really that truly Italian al dente taste out of it because obviously it's not made out of wheat it's made out of you know quinoa or brown rice or corn or whatever so it's gonna be a little bit mushier but you know just depends like if you're gluten free you do what you gotta do so the pasta is almost done what I do at this point is I put in nutritional yeast frozen veggies so more veggies and then spinach. So I always just start with the spinach because it um then it gets nice and like wilted and cooked. So you can just put however much you want in here. You want to just stir it around until it starts to cook. Then I'm just going to add in my nutritional yeast, probably like a fourth of a cup. You can add in as much as you want. I just kind of dump it in there because I like to have a ton of it. And then we're just going to add in our frozen veggies. So I like adding these in because it just helps everything cool down and then you can just eat it right away. And that is it. This is probably what I'm gonna eat all day, just so you guys know. Like I'm just probably gonna eat this entire pot of pasta and then probably have some fruit and like. Yesterday, Derek and I got the cashew ice cream from So Delicious and we got the um, salted caramel flavor. And I ate like half of it, half of the pint. It was so good. 
The cashew ice cream one is ridiculous. There's actually a cashew ice cream place here in Tucson and it's so amazing. Like, I could, I could just live there. Perfecto. So let me know if you guys like these videos. I was thinking maybe just doing mukbang Mondays because some people really love the mukbangs, some people hate them, but I do really like cooking like this in front of you guys because it's so much easier to like explain what I'm doing and talk about the stuff that I'm using and all that kind of stuff. So maybe I'll just do like a cook with me segment and I'll just show you guys how to cook stuff. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go eat this and if you want to see what I did the rest of today, go check out my vlog.